Hi everyone. Um, sorry, my last video was really bad quality. So um, this is my 13 DPO update, and oh my god, it's stressful. Um, my biggest concern right now is that I didn't ovulate. Like my chart shows I did, but here's my problem. I started some supplements like the day that it says. I guess it would the day before my temp rose. So, hold on, let me get a chart up. Um, I started them the day that I had my temp drop. I didn't mean to do it like that, it just kind of happened like that. So, and I'm thinking, what if those supplements raise my temperature and that's what's making it think that I owed? And I really didn't. I mean, my temps have been up and down and up and down, though, but they're still a way above, you know, plenty, or above cover line, and I think that's all that matters. So then again, what if it wasn't? I just didn't go to the doctor to get the um, blood work done to check and see if I ovulated, because we, we're waiting for DH's uh, insurance to kick in so we can do some more, like, more treatments and stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to show you my chart. I'm, like I said, I'm 13 DPO today. I've tested, like, the last five days. <laughs> and big fat negative. So, um, let's see. Here's my chart. There it is right there. So, if you can see, I'm 13 DPO. And... It says that I ovulated, and that's not the only char charting set I use either. I use um, myfertilitycharts.com, and that one doesn't go off of, it only goes off of temperatures, not CM, like not cervical mucus or anything like that. Like it can, but I just put in my temperatures to see if I, maybe I had misdiagnosed my cervical mucus or something, and that's why Fertility Friend gave me crosshairs, but according to just my temperatures alone, I did ovulate. So. I don't know if it's the supplements, or if it's not, or even how long my luteal, my LP is, because I have no idea when AF is going to show up, if I did ovulate. So I would assume it would be anywhere between tomorrow and Thursday, is what I would assume. So, um, yeah, it's a little stressful, but one of the other problems I'm having is... I started licorice root, saw palmetto, and then peony root tea. I do the peony root tea only sometimes. I mainly do the licorice root and the saw palmetto. But, um, I think it's a little too, it's, I use them to lower my testosterone. And it should help regulate my cycles and even, and even help you lose weight sometimes. So, um, I took it for that reason. Because I've gained weight, and I don't like it. I know I'm fat. I don't give a fuck. Sorry. I don't care. I mean, I care. But I care for personal reasons. And if you don't like it, too bad. Turn your cheek and go watch something else. End of story. Anyway, um, I'm a big girl. Always been a big girl. But I've gained weight recently, and it's driving me crazy. Not a whole, t a whole lot, but enough to where it's like a bloating a constant bloating feeling and I, I've gained it in the worst possible areas. Like right here, of course, is the worst area. I hate it. It's like I want to tuck it in. <laughs> there and in my stomach. Oh my god, my stomach like blew up. I don't know. But I know I've gained weight, but I haven't gained the weight back that I've lost. All of the weight back that I've lost thank god. Because I lost about a hundred pounds last year, so I've only gained back not even thirty of that. So it just it's the way that it shows on my body and my tummy and my freaking double chin, triple chin maybe. I don't know what it is now. Anyway. Um I guess all that matters is that my husband loves me. So mm, whatever people. But let's see. Um The salt palmetto and licorice root are what I'm using for the testosterone. 
it's, I'm pretty sure it's working because my libido, my sex drive went, like it's gone, completely gone. And I did research and it found that higher testosterone levels cause a higher libido. Well, my libido was crazy before, like crazy. I never complained, DH never complained. We're both complaining now. It's an issue and I don't like it. D I mean, DH understands, he knows that we're only doing this to try and get pregnant and then we're going to go off the supplements, of course. And that's after we have the baby is when we can actually use my regular weight loss medication. So, um, been back to the other medications or whatever. But until then, it's friggin' stupid and I don't like not having a sex drive. Like, it's completely non existent at all. Like, I could probably go the rest of the month, like a whole month without it and not even worry about it. When before, two days, I was freaking out. Sorry for TMI, but this is the only bad thing about these stupid pills. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to stop the licorice and just continue with the soft palmetto, or stop the soft palmetto and continue with the licorice. I don't know. If I don't get my BFP, I think I, I'm starting Vitex if I don't get my BFP. So, I think I'm going to look and see what's in that, and let's see which one I should take with it because um, you can add an extra supplement to help the testosterone because that's a major thing is the high testosterone levels. So um, I'm going to look and just do some research and find out which one I should take, which one's better to take with Vitex because I don't think taking both is a good idea. I think what I did was I ended up lowering my testosterone too much but I'm not, I have no idea. I don't know what a deal is. All I know is it lowered my libido so bad. So, that's something there. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> but, um, yeah, something there I have to give. So, I'm going to do some research to find out which what I should do. Um, as far as, yeah, I tested 90PO. Obviously, it was a big fat negative, but, um, I started to feel funny. Like, food doesn't taste right to me. Like, nothing that I eat tastes right. And then there's, I have like no appetite, completely no appetite. That could be the pills too, but I've been on the pills for, what, 13 days now, 14 days now, and two weeks. And I, it wasn't like that in the beginning. I mean, it was just literally like two days ago that I just started not wetting food, not hungry. Food doesn't sound good, food doesn't smell good. I mean, I obviously eat because i got to eat, but I've been eating like stuff like soup and toast. That's it. I don't know. I tried to eat a chicken sandwich today, but um, it didn't work. It did not taste good. I'm oh, sorry. That's oh, another thing is I've been so tired, so I thought for sure I was pregnant because I remember what happy. Oh my god, with DS, I could sleep all day long. And that was before I even got my BFP. And I was only 11 DPO when I got my BFP with DS, so, um, but anyway, I've been testing like a maniac, as you can see. So, and these aren't the only ones I've done. I've done like three, one, two, three, or I did two, one other one too, I guess. So, anyway, testing like a maniac. I'll show you the test. And this is, I'm going to go ahead and do an, a review on the first response, early results, six days sooner ones, because I don't like them. Because if you're actively trying, to, if you're actively trying TTCing, okay, if you're actively try, trying to conceive, couldn't think of a good way to say that, then you kind of get obsessed. Like, am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? Especially when you've been trying for a long freaking time like I have. And other people, you know, probably people, women with PCOS and just women with secondary, any, any unexplained infer infertility issues or any infertility infer the issues period you know you tend to say test early you get a little anxious and you test early and when you see a faint line you get excited that's how it is you're a woman you want a baby you get excited when you see a faint second line and you pray it gets darker well these tests are stupid and they show a faint line all the time I think it's their indent or whatever but I'll show you my test I have 10 dBO I have 10 through 13 video right here. And I'll show you what I mean. Hopefully you guys can see it because it's freaking stupid. I'm going to put my glasses on for a minute though. 
Yeah. It's super stupid, and I'm going to show you them in order. So here's 10 DPO, and I even marked where I thought I saw the line. If you guys can see this, I hope you can. Oh, it's going to be too bright. I don't know if you guys can. I don't know. I don't know if you can actually see it, because it's pretty darn bright. Okay, there we go. Anyway, I thought, you can see where I marked it, where I thought I saw the start of a line. Okay, so that was 10 DBO with FMU. Then I went to 11 DBO FMU, and I saw an even darker line. Okay, could have sworn they were getting darker, could have sworn it was, my, it was like the start of my BFP. So, here's, well, darn it, here's my 11 DBO. I don't know if you can see it. But I have pictures. It shows up more in the pictures for some reason. But I think you can see it. I think I can see it on the video. It's not very dark, but it's, it's really faint. But it kind of looks like a line. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I, I can clearly see it in, in real life. I can clearly see it. I can look at the test and see a line. A line. Of course, you can't see it from here because it's too far away and it's too bright. But I clearly see a line. So I don't know what the deal is. Okay? So that was 11 DPO after me. So I figured, well, I'm too anxious. I can't wait. So I didn't test the next morning, but I tested, tested the next night. So here's 12 DPO after holding it for a couple hours. And like a very, even lighter line than the 10, 11 DPO I am. So I figured, you know, whatever, you can kind of see a line, you can't. In real life, there's obviously a faint line, which is and lighter than what I thought the 11 DPO was. But um, I thought, oh, maybe I just didn't, uh, I don't know, maybe you guys can't see it. But I thought, maybe I just didn't hold my pee long enough, maybe I drank too much. I don't know, but because it was it looked lighter than the day before. To me, and even to DH, because DH saw the one on 11 PO without questioning it, and he's the freaking biggest skeptic, there's not a line, unless it's screaming at me, there's not a line, and he saw one on 11 PO, so I ripped it when I saw PO and I couldn't see it. And here's today, which is 13 PO's, and nothing. Like, a shadow of a line, but nothing. Maybe a chemical? maybe? I don't know, but I'd be, I'm going to be so mad if it is. Because <laughs> I freaking, after so long, I'm not ovulating. I finally possibly ovulated. So if I actually I guess in the end I was hoping to get AF. I mean, I was hoping to get a BFP. But in the end, if I don't get one, as long as I get AF, then I'll be happy. Okay? I will be content. How's that? But here's 13 DPO. Just nothing. Like a shadow of a line in real life, but it probably is not going to show up. So, that's what made me mad. It's just these tests, there's, on all four of them, I've seen something, you know? So, I'm beginning to just like FRERs. Um, let's see. I tried, if you... Oh, so sorry. If you buy cheap tests, then you'll know the for the Walmart has 88 cent cheap tests. They're in the pharmacy section. They're 88 cents. They're like purple and white in the middle, and um, they're like it's like a purple casing with a white strip in the middle. And then it's the, it's a, a typical pregnancy test. Kind of looks like you know one of the dollar store ones, but it's colored differently. Well, now Dollar General sells them as well, so I figured, you know what, for a buck I'll pick one up. Because I <coughs> happened to be there and I wasn't at Walmart, so whatever. Pick one up, and I took one of those, and nothing. Just stark white BFN. Okay? So, I was like, okay, it was 90, 10 DPO that day. No, 9 DPO. No, it was 10, because I tested right after I thought I saw something on the 10 DPO after R. No, bad idea. So, um... Yeah, those tests, not excited about them anymore, but, I don't know, maybe the pink dye uh, plus nine EPTs, or equates, or whatever the heck they're called, the pink dye plus nine, the ones that'll tell you you can freaking pregnant or not, I haven't seen bad reports about those, but I could be wrong, so, um, sorry, <sighs> Oh my goodness, this is driving me crazy. 
I'm just sad. I'm sorry the fact that may I there might be a chance I even nominate. So I feel like I'm setting myself up for failure. Does that make that I mean not for failure but disappointment, I guess? Does that make sense? Like I'm looking at my chart and I'm going, Oh my gosh, I ovulated, look at it, my temperature's still up, blah 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 and it can it can be deadly squat because I've had temperatures go up and down, up and down, up and down. So I don't know what to think. I can show you my other charts, but <sighs> oh, sorry. Again, with the yawning. I'll show you a couple of my charts where I almost ovulated. I tried to ovulate, but I didn't. Let's see, there's December's. No. Well, here's a non ovulate. Here's an anovulatory cycle. Just so you can get a sense of what my temperatures like to do. I took Provera to induce that period, that yeah. But, um, there's my temperatures under my, one of my anovulates and ovulatory cycles. Um, let's see, January was an actual temp cycle as well, where it said I might have ovulated in November. Okay, let's go back to October. This one is the one where I possibly could have ovulated. But after day 35, which was according to this 28 DPO. According to my chart, it's 28 DPO, and I got the dotted crosshair, cross line, crosshairs on the chart I have now. It's solid, but according to this, I was 28 DPO, and that CD cycle day 35, and I thought, ah, oh, there's no way I ovulated. So I took my Provera. But this is what my temperatures look like that cycle. See how freaking crazy they are? Okay, so we're going to go back to my the cycle I'm on now. My temperatures are so different. Like, so they look so much better. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. To me, they look better. Other people might think not, but... Again, my current chart right now, 13 DPO according to this. But, is it just me, or do my temperatures look a lot better? Because I think they look great. I mean, a lot different than before, so... I don't know. It kind of helps make me feel a little better that, you know, maybe I did actually ovulate, but, I don't know. Maybe I did. Oh my god! Anyway, maybe I did, and I just didn't ovulate. I don't know. But, or I mean, I just didn't get pregnant. I don't know. Um, I don't know how long my LP is. So, I'm going to give it until Saturday. If I don't have my period or BFP, if I don't have AF or BFP, by Saturday night I'm starting my Vitex and I'm going to move on to the next cycle. So, uh, that's that's my plan. So, I have two more FRERs. Same ones as the ones I just showed you, but I'm no longer going to look at any line that I see and say, oh, it's, it's maybe the start of this or it's like this, faint this. No. I wanted to scream, bam, bitch. Sorry. Bam, woman, you're pregnant. You know, I wanted to say, yeah, you're pregnant. Not just this tiny, faint line or any of this guessing crap, squinting, whatever. I want to be able to look at it and go, yep, my ego's pego. But, no. I guess we'll see. I have two left, so I don't know if I want to test again Wednesday and then Saturday, or if I want to wait until after Thursday to see if <laughs> to see if maybe AF shows up. I don't know. We'll see. I guess. I think maybe I'll wait until because tomorrow I'll be 14 DPO, unless my LP is 16 days, and then my period would be due Friday, so I would test Thursday. I I don't know. I don't know what to do yet. I'm gonna wait a bit. See what happens. So that's where I'm at. Sorry the video's so long. Just an update. Like I said, I haven't been on much in a long time. So I would just thought I'd get on an update and before I go I have to show you my our beautiful new addition to the family. This is Tarzan. Say hi Tarzan. 
this is our baby. No, it's a sweet baby. Mm. This is Tarzan. He's a lover. And he's a weirdo. And he gets kisses. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to sleep now. He's cool, he just kind of chills. He likes to sleep upside down, though. Yeah, he likes to sleep upside down. Where's he hanging? Oh, yeah. He's not goofy. He's a shoulder cat, too. He likes to sit on the shoulders. What? So, yeah. Okay, that's my update. I will... What? I will update when I find out more. I... Shh. Nuh-uh. I will update when I find out more. Um, either maybe get AF or get a BFP or something. But I will definitely update by Saturday. If not before Saturday, definitely on Saturday. So, thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, woo! Sorry, honey. Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I always answer questions. Um, I'll subscribe and I'll sub subscribe and I'll sub sub and I'll sub back and yeah just know there's hope guys you just gotta hope you gotta keep the hope oh come on husband. so alright guys thanks for watching I'll update again soon